uh, people go with us is that we have a really, really deep um, understanding of the full spectrum of forecasting activities. The ITRON Forecasting Group, uh, we work in three areas. Um, short-term uh, forecasting. Short-term forecasting is like five minutes ahead, the rest of today, tomorrow. It's very technical forecasting. Uh, we do that with a lot of the independent system operators and uh, utilities around the world. Then the next level is uh, medium term. Medium term is budget forecasting, so it's monthly usually for the next year and the next couple of years. And also looking backwards to figure out why your forecast was wrong um, is an important part of that. And then the third area is long term forecasting where we're looking out 10, 20, 30 years into the future. Whole different set of questions there because um, it's all about how our lives are changing and how the way that we use energy is changing new technologies that are gonna come in. So you can imagine the things that are big topics now, rooftop solar, electric vehicles, battery storage, um, all those kind of things. And there's been tremendous change over the last uh, 20 years, and there's gonna be tremendous change over the next 20. So it's, that's a really interesting area. Like in the natural gas forecasting area, there's been sort of a continued decline in use per customer. And that's really about more uh, efficient use of gas, more efficient appliances. And that's continued. I wouldn't call it a change. It's just a trend that's been going on for 20 years and it continues. On the electric side though, there's been tremendous change. And uh, if you look back to the 70s, there was three to 4% growth, 80s, three to four, then two to three. And right around 2006, 2007, it topped off and electricity has been relatively flat. So now we're in a zero growth or very slow growth environment. It really changes the conversation. When you've got two to 3% growth, that can cover up for a lot of mistakes. When you're flat, um, all of a sudden, everybody wants to be more accurate. It's like, are we growing, are we, are we not growing? And so there's a lot more focus on accuracy. The AMI data has mostly impacted uh, our short and medium term work. Um, you know, it's, uh, really uh, allowed us to improve accuracy and clarity. Sort of the accuracy is, is looking forward, the clarity is looking backwards. So it's really given us uh, a handle on uh, how things work and um, allows us to do a much better job of modeling. AMI data enables uh, new processes. So for example, whereas we used to um, do variance analysis, you know, looking backward, on a monthly basis, now we can do that on a daily basis. Um, and it's just a much finer, finer tool. One of the really nice things is when you look at the AMI data, you can actually see how the world works. Uh, before that, we worked with monthly billing data, which was on staggered cycles, 20 staggered cycles. So the weather that went with a month's bills was sort of fuzzy, a lot of fuzziness around the billing data. With AMI data, a day is a day. The weather that went with that day is clear. How that all works is clear. A month is a month. It's, it's a really clear distinction. So, so the second thing really is that it's, it, the frequency is higher and it's timely and it just allows us to do new things. The move to cloud computing is something, you know, we've seen in our own business. All, all of our systems are moving to the cloud and it's quite natural to start looking at moving forecasting systems to the cloud as well. We're starting with our short-term forecasting system. So this is the one that's doing the rest of today or tomorrow, so uh, fairly narrow, and it's very technical forecasting. Most of the large system operators use our system. What we want to do is take that to some of the smaller utilities in a cloud offering so that what we're delivering is not a complex stack of software, but the numbers they need to run efficiently. So, so we, we just deliver the forecast, and that has a tremendous advantage to them in terms of IT costs that are reduced, they don't need to maintain the uh, expertise to run the system. And uh, for us, it has the advantage uh, that we have one system in the cloud that we maintain, it works. And um, I think that's what a lot of our customers see is when they start using those ideas, everything becomes clearer to them.